up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. Uh, today, I am going to the Martin Luther King Parade. Uh, I haven't been in a while. Uh, you know, coming from down south, uh, you know, Martin Luther King Parade, it was always something going on, man. You know, a positive situation being turned into a negative one, you know, shooting and all that stuff, man. And it kind of took away from uh, being able to publicly commemorate, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So, uh, this is the first time that I've been able to actually go to a parade, not only go, but participate in a parade, uh, man, I, I would say at least 10 years. So, uh, we're going to head over there, guys. It's early, it's 40 degrees, it's cold, but we're going to get it done. So, we're going to head over there, uh, get set up, and I'll see you guys at the parade. It's your boy, Mr. Grubb. guys so um went ahead and went to the parade um it was a really good parade a, a big outcome um everything did go well there wasn't um any negativity as far as you know uh people there uh, causing any trouble or whatever uh, great turnout you know i'm glad I, i'm glad i went but i will say this black people um we got we got to start on time okay that's that's my first call out. I, I I know we always talk about that, and people always say, uh, you know, that's one of those myths about black people that they never on time nowhere. Okay, and I'm still waiting for us to counteract that myth, man, because <laughs> if we wasn't on time at all. Okay, now parade's supposed to start at ten o'clock. I think it started about 11.30, okay? So that's that's the first thing. Second thing is, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, understand that, you know, people do have other things that, that they want to get done as well. So if you want the best turnout, man, you, you definitely got to be consistent with everything that you're doing, especially when it comes to time frames and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not so much of a big deal, um, you know, based on the presentations that was going on, based on, you know, uh, the floats and everything. I just think for me, the biggest thing was you had people there, um, like myself, who, have, who haven't who have been uh, to a parade in so long or haven't even been to this parade, right? So you kind of want to think about those people too. That's, that's all I'm saying, you know. Uh, being a part of the parade, you know, uh, I just felt like, you know, I wanted to be able to to, to do more than just wave. Um, we weren't allowed to really give anything to people. Uh, it was against the rules to, like, give them, you know, snacks and stuff like that. And, and don't get me wrong, most companies who, uh, who are there, it's free advertisement, right? So uh, most of them go and advertise their business and you know, what they have to offer to the community and things like that. And in part, so... You may want to, you know, give some things to them, give up, you know, some snacks and some drinks, things like that, some business cards, all of those things. But um, it didn't really work out like that. What I will say, though, is um, I'm glad I was glad to see people actually getting along. Everybody was happy. Everybody was excited about being there. You know, I, I was definitely glad to see that because, like I said, my last experience at uh, Martin Luther King Parade was down in Miami. And it just wasn't a great experience. I think, you know, midway into it, we lost sight of it actually being about Martin Luther King, man. It just just had you just were looking around wondering, you know, where the shots was coming from. And, you know, this crew against that crew, this click against that click. Like, you know, that feeling alone is, 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 it's unnecessary for one, but it's definitely unsettling to people who actually really come out there and just just want to be grateful for the opportunity to uh, 
you know, that was presented to him, man, you know what I'm saying, and I felt like, you know, sometimes, even as, as you know, just as a black man, and as black people, we squander the opportunities that we have, man, you know, when you think about uh, 60 years ago, 50, 60 years ago, uh, fighting for equality, even now, we're still fighting for equality, right, but the opportunity to go to some of the schools we felt we weren't privileged to attend, to be able to, uh, you know, even just have the friends that we weren't able to have because it wasn't allowed, man. And and to have the opportunity to work in places that we would have never been able to work at, you know, 40 years ago. Having those opportunities and not taking advantage of them, man, it, it, you know, it bothers me. It does bother me, you know what I mean? Because... You know, I want to see my kids grow up and take advantage of those opportunities. You know, I would like to see everybody's kids take advantage of those opportunities, even the ones that we missed, you know, as adults. I would definitely want people to be able to capitalize off of those, you know, uh, opportunities that we miss, man. And, you know, just to see so many uh, of the parents in jail or, or, or dead, kids getting killed, not having the opportunity to grow up, man, not able to actually have a childhood because they don't have parents around, so they feel they gotta grow up early. It's just so much, you know, and I hate to see it happen like that, and I wish it was a way to, you know, basically give a hug to the world, man, you know what I mean? To have a platform to just give a hug to the world. Sometimes that's all people need, right? But people are so accustomed to having to be on the defensive or, or not having that kind of love in their life. Um, they wouldn't know what to do if they got it, man. You know what I mean? So I just want to, you know, see people do great, you know, black people, Spanish people. I just want us to, you know, do great, man. You know what I mean? And, and whatever we do, I just want us to be successful. I want you guys to be successful. You know, I want to be successful. So, you know, understand that, you know, the parade is a great way to commemorate uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but actually continuing to fight for equality, continuing to strive for greatness, continuing to take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to us, that's really what, you know, uh, would show him honor, you know what I mean? So let's just do better, guys, you know what I mean? Let's get better. Let's, you know, help each other out, man. It doesn't hurt to help, you get what I'm saying? So let's just do better as a people. You know, and, and just, you know, help everybody else because in the end it'll help us too. You know what I mean? So either way, you know, finish that part of my day. So now I'm headed to the barbecue part of the day and uh, I'll get with you guys another time, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We almost at a thousand guys. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.